Cube Control just released their pedals after more than two years of development, and if aesthetically they won my heart as one of the best looking set I ever had on my rig, it's time to share my first week experience with them. They contact me and ask me if I want and have time to test them and give some feedback as a driver, but some of you already know I have them around and want to know more. First the very short version. The brake pedal, which we count as the most important pedal in the sim racing community, is definitely the best in terms of feeling I ever had on that rig and it has to be with that asking price, otherwise it won't survive in that stiff competition. The throttle from other hands I will rate as a medium and it definitely has the potential to be better but before I dive deep into each pedal I will ask you for a favor. Pause that video and please write in the comment section how you drive your pedals at home. Socks or shoes. I will explain something that not many talk about and definitely not many manufacturers takes in consideration. We operate the throttle and the brake with completely different leg and fit movement and any brake pedal over 30 kg requires big group of muscles and detach the heel from the support point while pressing. Grippy pedal plate can be beneficial if the friction between toe and plate is good and support those big forces. The ankle will move and compensate for that pedal movement. However, the throttle is a completely different story. As we spend 80% on full throttle around most tracks, the pedal must be soft and the heel must be attached to the support plate and work without much effort. The problem in this operation is as we press the pedal with the heel firmly down, the pedal plate must slide over the toy and any friction will create discomfort. We all fall in this trap when we see some cool design with holes or friction pads on the pedal plate, but depending on body position or pedal position, throttle can get really hurtful for precise operation if there is any friction. If you race with shoes, please put sock on top of your shoe and see the difference you're gonna feel in terms of control. You will be amazed. Having your heel as support point and operating the movement from the ankle only is the most precise and easy muscle movement. This is input we control with muscle movement, not pressure muscle memory. This pedal is good and fortunately have enough adjustability to make it comfortable from my sitting position. The 16-bit sensor have enough resolution to cover even the shorter throw which we can adjust from here and the torsical spring can be adjusted from super soft to just strong enough and give little fatigue on my muscle keeping it down for extended period of time. The structure looks solid with very subtle play on that piston system which is to be expected as those are adjustable moving parts and the ball bearing is rock solid. 4 slots on the brake for angle adjustment, 4 slots on the GT plate for height adjustment and 2 slots on the formal plate. The GT plate for my taste have more friction than I personally prefer for socks driving and a bit smaller and the F1 plate however have good size and zero friction but those extra empty holes have sharp edges and create little discomfort while my feet sliding on the plate. So, except of having really beautiful design and lots of adjustments, there is nothing really special on this throttle pedal to really impress me. However, the brake pedal is a completely different story. It really is the best pedal I ever felt on my rig and I have tested quite a lot. That concept of mixing springs with elastomer and dumper kit on top it really looks like optimal set for natural feeling in driving. I still haven't had the chance to experience all the different mixture of springs and elastomers, but even in stock, I instantly fall in love. 
that progressive feeling in compression and decompression makes my life so much easier. If you understand driving, you know how important it is to control the turn in and out, not just with the steering inputs, but also with pedal inputs and understanding and feeling the entire throttle and brake cycle. I guess that progression from spring compression to elastomer compression and all that movement dump it from the dumper kit and going back it really makes sense to my muscle memory as i've said i still haven't had the chance to test all the available settings and will need weeks or even months till i found the optimal mixture for my driving style and eliminate the muscle fatigue in longer races but as you can see the Available options are endless. The number can have 6 scales on the knob but 12 increments which can help not only in dumping feeling and compression but also help the muscle in trail braking while releasing the pressure. Of course, be careful with those settings as you will still need responsive pedal for good car control. The chart in the website will show you all the different spring slash elastomer combination and those looks like will cover every case and personal like. The 16-bit 200 kilogram load cell will also definitely cover all those different combinations. There is also a torsical spring inside for further adjustment through this bolt here just like on the throttle pedal. Replacing the spring elastomer kit is not difficult as well. Get the preload cap loose to free the preload of the spring, unscrew the piston with the available tool and take it off. Check the suggested options and choose the combination. Make sure to follow the instructions step by step using the correct washers, pass them through the piston, tight, tight the preload and ready to go. I won't rate those as the easiest ones, but if you have space on your rig, it won't be hard at all. The build quality and materials are top as you can see and the first week of use they are still super silent. Download the software, add some dead zones or curves if you need for your favorite sim and join the sim heaven. That idea of mixing springs with elastomers really feel great in combination with that dumper kit. The design is also unique and looks different from the rest. I want to see two of the holes of the formula plate gone as that will give more comfort and the packaging match the premium product. All this of course is just my first impression from the first week of driving and there is a lot more to explore. Once I complete full season with those, we'll give further opinion, but for now the price really match expectations. I hope those first impression gives you some brief idea what to expect and wish you good luck in your decision. Come on.